Well, uh, Megan has been on a three-month leave, to a forced three-month leave. She's not happy about it to, to deal with the death of her partner. So she comes back to work and just wants to go to work, and everybody keeps wanting to talk about her feelings, which she doesn't want to talk about. And then immediately is thrown into a case that uh, involves, um, I won't say, a kidnapping. And, uh, and also meets Tommy Sullivan again, played by Mark Valley, who she dated 20 years earlier in New York. It ended badly. And now he's come back into her life to not only try to get her back, but also he's working with her, which she's not happy about. Uh, Mark is a bit of a joker. Um, I like working with him because he's not afraid of me. You know, sometimes, for whatever reason, male actors get intimidated by me. <laughs> and he is not afraid to sort of challenge me, which is good, and it's good for the character. Um, and Mark and I have worked together before. He played my brother on a show called Pasadena, so it all feels a little bit incestuous. I kind of feel like he's my brother. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because, you know, Megan did not have a good relationship with her daughter for a long time, so she's finally got her back, and, and Lacey's now living with Megan. And, you know, she's a teenager living with her mom. But I feel like Lacey, and also Mary Mauser, who plays Lacey, is such an old soul. I mean, she's just a beautiful person. I love working with her. I feel like she's my equal. She seems as old as I am, you know. And then in the first couple of episodes, she gets put in danger. And... For Megan, it's the worst thing possible because she just got her back and she can't lose her again. That would be the end of Megan. She couldn't handle it. Yeah, well, it's going to be a different show this season because it's more exciting. Every, every episode is going to have an event in it, things like plane crashes, things like that. And also, there's going to be a through line of Megan is investigating the death of her own father because um, he committed suicide when she was 12. And now she's starting to believe that that's not what happened. And she's having trouble believing that. And she goes to a psychiatrist for the first time to talk about it. And that is played by Henry Ian Cusick, who was on Lost. And he's great, really good.